What's up guys, Main Man Sweet here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and now I'm gonna watch the Law trailer. These things always drop as soon as I turn off my stream, it seems. I think they're trolling me on purpose. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to watching this. I thought the, um, I thought the Paul trailer was really good. It was much better than I thought it would be, because his... Uh, I, I can't say I like the hair, I don't like the outfit too much, but uh, they compensated with so much personality in that trailer, but I, uh, that was my face watching it. I kind of love the vibe, the hype ready. man vibe Paul has in Tekken 8 is amazing, and they touched up the rage art. We had seen the rage art before, and I was like, ah, it's pretty lackluster, and then as soon as his sleeve tore off, and it stayed for the end of a match and the wind pulls, I was like, genius. As, as soon as I saw that, it's 10 out of 10. So we're gonna watch his friend uh, Law now. It drops only three days after the poll trailer, I think. Only three days. So, man, we're getting... We're spoiled with trailers now. But so far, I'm just gonna rank them quickly. Although I'll probably do a character trailer tier list at some point. Because tier lists never get old. Am I right, guys? But to me right now, it's Kazuya, Paul, Jin, Nina. Is that sexist? I mean, honestly, that, that's the way I see it. Uh, Jin's trailer, I liked it, but in the end, I don't know if I like the backflips too much. It seems a little bit too edgelord. I don't know. But so, okay, sorry for the long intro. Here we go. Paul's best friend, Martial Law. Of course you drop a Martial trailer three days after Paul. You can't separate these two. I really hope they're cool in story mode. Like, give them time to shine. Ready for the next battle. Here we go. The legendary dragon! I am that, that random. Come and get some. I dare you. Oh, oh, he looks exactly like Bruce Lee. I mean exactly like Bruce Lee, Bear. Nunchuck. Slick. Frames? Oh shit! Oh! Double backflip is a bound! No idea what's happening. Goosh! You, you think that's the best rage art so far, Mac Payne? I mean, it's a, it's a really good one, but I gotta say, Kazuya's... And I'm... I feel like I'm not even saying that because is my main. I just feel like he has the most, like, spectacular rage art so far. Like, the close-up of his third eye lasering them up and then smacks them down into the electric heel and then the entire stage just explodes. I gotta say, come on, Kazuya has the best one. And I gotta say, like, uh, J the more I rewatch Jin's rage art, it's not that good. It feels a little bit like a dud, like only one hit. He should be doing more, even though I really like, you know, with the close-up of uh, him getting, getting the third eye devil tattoo and the wing. It's very dramatic, but it's he should be doing something more, like two punches or something. Uh, but yeah, th this rage art is super clean. Super clean. <laughs> And again, I can, I can only stress uh, what a great job they're doing with the facial animations. The first intro, he looked exactly like Bruce Lee. And here, he's like so expressive with his face. I felt the same with Paul, Kazuya. Again, I, I'm overusing uh, the term night and day, but it, it really is. Like compared to older Tekken games, like there's, there's almost no facial animation if you look at older Tekken games, like Tekken 7 and prior. So this is, uh, you love to see it, how good the presentation is. Uh, 
I love that slow mo. But good. That, that has to be the KO face where he goes, ah, what? Where it's a like close up. That, that must be the KO. Uh, but I love how expressive he is. I, I just, uh, I don't know. Personality and character, those are the two words you want to use for Tekken 8 right now. You, you know that's something the director stressed. Like, push the characters. We need more personality because Tekken 7 is almost devoid of personality. You have Heihachi and a few more characters who stand out, but here, they're really making them all pop, come out of the screen. And I'm sure Rip, uh, Lord Rip, level up your game, is busting a nut right now. Uh, he must be. But I loved the nunchuck attacks and how there's like, uh, like a tornado twister effect, like BOOM! And the sound effects, again, something I didn't stress in the poll trailer, the sound effects are amazing, so hats off even to the audio team, deserve a lot of credit here. And also something I noticed with the poll trailer that I failed to mention in that reaction was that they had actually drastically toned down the particle effects. So that's something that has been a little bit annoying how in the Kazuya trailer, for example, you, can almost, you almost can't tell what's going on because anytime Kazuya smacks Jin, there's just an enormous ex purple explosion that covers the entire oh sorry a purple explosion that covers the entire screen and very notably in the poll trailer toned down and here toned down eight. New challenger. Come and get some. I dare you. that intro is absolutely amazing uh i mean they must have used i mean 100 percent uh bruce lee dialogue here was used as a reference <laughs> Um, or what, what movie is this when he does this? Is that Enter the Dragon? I haven't watched Bruce Lee movies in 20 years. Uh, he looks absolutely great. And I have to take back all of the criticism I gave the developers the first time we saw this Coliseum footage with Lo and Paul during the Game Awards. I was like, ah, it doesn't look that good. But, uh, I mean, since then, everything just looks so, so polished. So polished. So, let's see if I can keep up with gameplay here. Whoa! Kick. Okay, you, you know what we have to do. I'm gonna take down the volume. And then we're going to set... No, no, qu quality is fine. Uh, let's see, can an old man find playback speed? 0 0.25, thank you. So I can keep up. Uh, so let's see what he does. Yeah. <laughs> hop! Hop! That looks like mid-mid, and it's absolutely a new string. Uh, I don't play Law in Tekken 7. I dabble with him a little bit, but I've never seen that before. That hits, and that is DSS, so that's Dragon Sign Stance 1. And that gu guarantees Legend Kick in Tekken 7. So here, he does a mid instead. Okay. Goosh! Nunchuck Knockdown. You could so see Paul duck there. Down for two. Uh, one of the best down for twos. Uh, minus seven on block. Tracks decently to both sides. Back to one, so oh, that looks so sick how he turns around. So this is the new bound, the backflip. So back to one is his new bound. Uh, back, uh, uh, no wait, back to one. Oh, wait, that's his bound in Tekken 7 as well. But instead now of doing a backhand, he does an uppercut. And it looks way cooler. It looks way cooler. <laughs> Goosh. Looks so much better. For free, power crush. Uh, there's a blue effect on law here. I can't really tell what this is. Power. This is obviously a power crush, right? But then it's like it 
it shatters like glass or something. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe heat engager effect. Someone said in the chat. Seems like a new attack. Down one. While sending four. Parry. Goosh! Oh, that's sick. I really love the nunchuck stuff. And I gotta say, like, his, uh, his outfit is 10 out of 10. Uh, he has one of a one of the best new looks in Tekken 8. I don't know what, how you guys feel about uh, new law, but in my opinion, I don't think he's ever looked better. Personally, I really love the colors: uh, bare chest, necklace, arm wraps, nunchucks, belt, this red red rope, uh, and a dragon here. I'm thinking. Uh, I think he looks great. And his, uh, I mean, his, his face. I mean, it's like, every, I, I keep saying it, everyone's face in Tekken 8 is just, they've never looked better. Oh, what a slick animation. So that was a whiff punish wall splat. And forward, forward, two, three is now a bound. It gives a backflip bound and also bounds on the wall. We saw Kazia do this as well with twin pistons, down for one, two. And this is his classic sidestep string. Ah! Sick. Oh, I love this. <laughs> and then he shits himself. But uh, it looks great. So wait, was that, that was one inch punch, right? Forward for two? Oh, he can do forward for two into one inch punch. I mean, that's new. Uh, and get heat, manual transition into bound. Honestly, they show the same sequence every time. They always go into heat and bound immediately. So I'm, uh, I used to think, oh, we can go into heat, do some combo, and then do the heat bound. You know, the Tekken 6 Tag 2 style bound. But I don't think that's going to be a thing. I think the way this is going to work is that if you want to use that heat bound, you got to do it straight away. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done this in every trailer. It's always manual heat transition bound. So we are going to be, they show a double bound here again. Double backflip now. And I love this as a bound move. That is so slick. Double backflip into combo enders. So cool. But so basically already I know that uh, most likely in combos, and again, that manual transition to heat seems to freeze time. So you'll probably be able to launch someone, combo, combo, backflip bound, and then do something more, and then heat into bound. I mean, I'm, I'm only speculating, but I, I, off the top of my head when I see this stuff, I'm like, combos are gonna be ridiculous. Okay, can you imagine on the wall? You know, you saw him wall splat Paul, and then forward for two free, Paul backflips on the wall, right? Can he go into heat there and bound him again on the wall? So you even double bound on the wall? I mean, most likely. Can you imagine the stuff you'll be able to do in this game? So... Wait, what string was this again? Sorry, I'm just... Uh, it's a really cool trailer, so I don't mind re-watching stuff a million times. I mean, as someone wrote on YouTube, only main man can make a half-hour reaction video on a two-minute video. <laughs> Gotta get the ad revenue, boys. Jesus. I gotta pay the rent. Oh god, sorry, I was talking about I'm a total YouTube sellout, so I, m I missed the animation. Let's do that again. Okay. Up for 3-4. No, no, wait, that's 3-4. He can do 3-4 into Legend Kick now. Okay. 
sidestep free? Don't tell me that's guaranteed. I missed this the first time around. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Okay, here we are. That's a new attack. Sidestep free, I think. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I don't think that animation or counter knockdown exists in Tekken 7. And then he, he tra sidestep free transitions into DSS, it seems, and he does DSS forward one. Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, that can't be guaranteed. That, that has to be a mix-up. So, Heat Engager. Um, this is his uh, Heat Smash. I think what gives it away is, is the Blue Spark. It should be noted that this is a mid Heat Smash. Uh, it's not uh, because uh, Paul has a demo heat smash, demo man. Kazia has a demo man as well, De demo man style attack. Jin, however, does that. He also has a mid one. He just he does Tekken Four just frame laser scraper into Devil Jin up four cyclone kick iron cannon. You know that big laser. <laughs> uh, it, watch the Jin trailer again. It's like the most ridiculous attack. But so Law also has a mid one, which is interesting to say the least. Goosh. Yeah, Jin's heat smash is insane. Nice. Oh, really cool one. Down one. Interrupts with one one two. No, one one one. Oh, that's also. Oh my God! He has a ten frame heat engager. 10 frame on counter hit. Yeah, 1 1 1 counter hit string. Oh, that's gonna be fun. It seems like it does a ton of damage as well. 1 1. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, he needs it. I love that whirlwind effect. So is that his heat down for two, you think? Like a nunchuck down for two? Okay, that's a lot of follows. Thanks, guys. That's also... So many new animations. Oh my god, it, wait, he heat dashes from that. Even in fucking slow-mo, it moves too quickly. It moves too quickly for me and Joe Biden. Sleepy main man. Uh, let's see. Alzheimer's is not fun, guys. It's a real disease with medicines and everything. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, seriously, it's even in slow-mo. Uh, they, they edit these too fast! Love that kick! Into down to free. Oh my god, how high up he is! He's even waiting here! Right? He's in neutral. Or I, I you can easily squeeze in an extra hit here. But, you know, he's just showing total dominance. I don't need an extra hit. Goosh! One inch punch. Ford for two, one, three. So this is a classic string. Yes. And now it's Rage Art time, so now we've watched everything. Okay, forward 1 plus 2. Still a counter hit launcher. God, I'm surprised. <laughs> I can't help but fanboy so hard when I watch these. It's like when I watch Kazuya's Paul's. It's like seeing your childhood heroes. You know, I've played this since I was 10. You know, 27 years. It's gonna be 28 years soon. And I've never seen, like, my favorite characters as expressive right so it's just uh, it's so cool it's so cool but uh yeah let's watch this in slow-mo as well oh he looks so cool here
You know what? Yeah. That's the end of slow mo. <laughs> Gotta say, I love the light in here as well. You see, uh, you have red. I hit spark. Love the contrast here on ripped law. The red coming in from beneath. The hi red highlight. <laughs> So yeah, let's watch it one more time for the extra ad revenue. Now, just in case I miss something. And honestly, can, can you blame me for watching these over and over and over? I watched the Kazia trailer like 200 times. I, I'm just surprised people are actually impressed of me watching this for half an hour. I'm like, dear lord, if I was a low main, I would do a five hour reaction video. Eight. I mean, yeah. rip. Rip is probably whacking off right now as I'm talking. Challenger! Come and get some, I dare you. Marshall! Love! Announcer, surprisingly timid here. Marshall! Love! I was expecting. Did you hear Paul Phoenix? <laughs> like, oh god. <laughs> they didn't pay enough for the law trailer, I think. Nah, honestly, this 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 animation is so cool. And aren't the sound effects amazing? Like uh, they've always done a good job, I think, with Tekken, and especially Tekken Seven, in giving giving all the hits like weight. It feels like a heavy impact when you do a mock punch, an electric, a mock kick. Everything hits hard. But here, it's like, it's like they've taken it even further. Like there's this gigantic force and impact to everything. But I really like. That scares me though, one, one, one. And what, what do you think are the properties of this fucking nunchuck he does here? Kaboom! I mean, it looks like, is it gonna blow me up on guard as well? Like, look at this shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna nunchuck you and it's like 10 fucking pounds of dynamite goes off in your fucking forehead. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only say hats off to them for another absolutely brilliant trailer. Like, I, I, I've, I've always liked Law, but I've never been, like, you know, even close to a Law main. But again, I, I just feel like, oh, with the Paul trailer, I was like, I really want to play a lot of Paul in Tekken 8. And with this one, I'm also like, oh, I'd like to play Law. Please, uh, if I may, he just looks super cool. And, you know, so much personality shines through. So many cool new attacks. Amazing uh, animations. And I gotta say... <laughs> uh, probably the best rage art after Kazuya's. If I were, or, or, or it's Paul's, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for Paul's sleeve tearing, I'd probably say this is the best rage art after Kazuya's. Rage art for me right now is, wait, wait, let, let's go trailer first. Trailer ranking. 
Kazuya, Paul, Law, Jin, Nina. That's my ranking on the trailers. Rage Art. Kazuya. Law. As much as I love Paul's sleeve tearing, um, that's the best thing about it. Everything else is like, me, but, but it's, it's still a really good rage art. I love it. But it's probably Kazuya, Law, Paul. Do I want to say Nina? Because she shoots guns. She shoots a couple of guns, at least. I don't know. I, I used to really like Jin's. It looks so spectacular, like in the first trailer with the super dramatic dark, dark lighting, right? First trailer. So that the red, when he does his electrics and it's red, they really stand out. It's extremely stylish. But any other time we've seen his rage art, like on the Manhattan stage where it's like daylight, it just doesn't look anywhere as dramatic. So maybe it's going to be a lot about lighting, um, but I don't know, Jin's rage art... Love how he knocks him up, and he says Doria, by the way, when he does the initial uppercut. And I like the devil thingy and the wing, but then he just does one punch, and I... I, I like it, but it, I feel like this is your main protagonist. This is Jin Kazama, like you... Probably should have upped, the, upped it a little bit, upped the ante, because... Kazuya's, in comparison to Jin's, is like, well, he literally, like, obliterates you. Whereas Jin feels like, oh, slightly enhanced demon paw. I don't know, it's, it's just such a drastic difference, I think. Um, but yes, so another absolutely spectacular trailer. We got Paul's three days ago, and now they popped Laws. Makes me think, they, they are probably thinking once per week, but Paul's got a little bit delayed. I think Paul's came out like nine, ten days after uh, Jin's, so I think it was just slightly delayed. And my guess is next Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll get another trailer, and my guess is it's uh, King. And I'm very much looking forward to a King trailer. But I have to say, like, the characters I really want to see, and I'm very biased, obviously, but the trailers I really, really want to see, it's Brian, Armor King, uh, and, May and Steve. Brian, uh, Brian's trailer is going to be batshit crazy, because I, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do to that character, because how do you even buff Brian? Like, in Tekken 7, if he hits a Mach Kick on you, which is pretty realistic, it's a very strong attack, Mach Kick counter it, that, that's 80 damage. With, with a wall, it's 100. So how exactly do you buff that? So I'm just thinking, Tekken 7 Mach Kick, kaboom, opponent dies. What happens if he scores a counter at Mach Kick when he's in heat mode? Is it 150 damage? What does Hatchet do? When he's in heat. So many possibilities. And it scares me a little bit. But so, Br Brian is going to be batshit crazy. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has like a minigun. Uh, some weapon or a steel beam. He can use mid-match. Would be slick. And Ar Armor King, we all know, is going to blow our fucking minds. Armor King. Um, really hoping he has a cool look. They could even do the Tekken 7 outfit again. And I would not complain. Because it's so swag. Uh, and Steve, I want to see. And I also want to see Heihachi. I know a lot of people think he's dead, but I think he's going to be a playable character. Uh, he's Heihachi. Way too iconic not to be part of this. But so... Oh, that's 29 minutes. Very short today. <laughs> uh, yeah, a fair amount of time, I think. But I, I, I certainly hope you enjoyed my little commentary on the trailer. And I hope you're as excited as I am for Tekken 8. So thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you.